Have you ever gone back to a video game from your childhood and said, why did I like this? Because this is that moment for me. Laser Blast was developed and published by Activision in 1981. The player controls a flying saucer with the goal of destroying three... tanks? The manual just calls them enemy attackers, but they look like tanks, so that's what I'm going to call them. Anyways, you shoot lasers at the tanks, they shoot back, the stage resets when all three tanks have been destroyed, it gets harder as you progress, you get the idea. Based on the title card for this video, you probably guessed that I don't particularly care for this game, but let's talk about the stuff that I liked about Laser Blast first. Well, for one, I like the sound design. Obviously, the Atari 2600 was very limited in... well, just about everything, especially in sound, but the sound effects stand out in Laser Blast. They aren't your normal 1980s Atari garbled static. They're different 1980s Atari garbled static. I especially like the sound when your saucer gets hit and it starts its descent. I also appreciate the art design for Laser Blast. The little details like having the flying saucer spin, the grass, the debris of an enemy being destroyed, and the rainbow coloring as you descend when you're shot are all examples of why Activision was considered the best of the best for Atari 2600 games. I know this all sounds promising, but let's get to the main problem with Laser Blast. It's boring. Even for the Atari 2600, it's boring. I can't remember where I heard this particular phrase, but I remember it from somewhere and it stuck with me. Someone once said that the best Atari 2600 games are the ones that find a balance between being simple yet addicting. Laser Blast tips the scales a bit too far into the simplicity side. Shooting three tanks over and over and over and over again with very little variation gets tiresome almost immediately. According to the manual, Laser Blast is a space shootout that defies description. No, I think the words dull, tedious, uninteresting, unexciting, repetitive, wearisome, and god-awful would describe it just fine. Defy's description? More like Defy's staying awake. Now I know Atari 2600 games aren't exactly the most complicated, but even having several variations of enemies that behave differently, such as in Defender, Galaxian, and Moon Patrol, would make this game much more enjoyable. When people say that Atari games are boring, or that they all play the same, this is the perfect game to support that argument. This is definitely one of the worst in the Atari 2600 Activision library, but it's fine, I guess. Not the worst thing I've ever played, but I won't be coming back to revisit this one anytime soon. If you're looking to start collecting 2600 games, don't buy this one unless you're a completionist who wants all of the Activision games. Otherwise, I would skip it. 